What up? Do I have stuff in my nose? Yeah, I do. I'll be back, even though I may have just been in the bathroom or something. But I'm going to go through um, this huge thread that I saw. Um, <clears throat> I've, I think I've looked a little bit in this thread before. Um, I think this is the same thread that I've looked in a little bit before, but there is a lot and so I, um, and I, I had gone deeper into this thread like yesterday. And so that was, I think it was hard yesterday when I looked at some of it, but today I looked at like every, like, I think everything. Um, and I just like copied and pasted, um, things that like, I guess either were wrong or maybe even worth reflecting on, or just, I guess things that were either wrong or were good points or were worth philosophizing on or something like that. Um, also, the person I get, even even though in my mind, I I feel like I've seen, I've what I've stuck to and what I've wanted to stick to is that I believe that um, said Chavez is, is really woman three or a woman. I've seen multiple things towards that. <laughs> and even though life has shown me like that I can be wrong and that's so, so like, but there's things that I've seen. So like, but this person who like shared the original post also participated in the uh, the Legend of IB thing. So I'll answer his question. If you do the Zoroaster and you thing, <laughs> or, well, you should do the Zoroaster and you thing because that's sharing your stories. If you do the Legend of IB thing, the Legend of IB thing is a thing that he participated in. Um, the superpower component is supposed to be something I, th I think what I'm having it as is that it's something that you are good at, like a superpower that you have. So we could call this self-appreciation. And in reality, in reality, whether intentionally or non-intentionally, it overlaps actually with the dark roads definition that God changed my dark roads definition to like with the road of light, there's precursor stuff. And like, it starts with dark road stuff. The road of light is like an after blooming thing. But, um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go clean my nose or something, but, um, but I'm gonna go through like stuff in there. And this is actually easier because this is like, like yesterday I talked about low morale and stuff and what I was going to do one idea for something to do with this video, maybe even videos going forward, was to do like fire fist stuff, which is something that you wouldn't know what that means, but it has to do with self-belief. And I'll just be like, it's kind of like the concept, the metaphorical concept, but for me was reality of like, if you're in a cold, like winter, like you got to like get your fire up, get your like, I guess you could say, you got to get your fire up, I guess, um, which is, and so I can be like memories, things that give you strength. So I was going to like maybe start the video with that of like doing that. But this is something that even though it's all these people talking about me and stuff, um, this is crazy because the two people under my um, the legend of like or no, the post that I had like Monday night this week where I like talked about the legend of IBs or Aster and you heart energy, Jesusism, Fargo invaders. um, the two people that back and forth under that got under my skin a lot, like more than all this, I think. Um, so people are just interesting as far as like, or how things work for an individual person are interesting or is interesting. Um, so yeah, because like this will cover so many things kind of in a way versus like for the legend of IB thing, that's like one video that like is about one person which with what he I I I actually rock with what he did for his comment for the legend of IB thing um and that's interesting because like I was feeling really anxious last night um just I was just feeling like nervous like downtown and stuff um after going to rock church for Bible study, not actual rock church, because that's in the theater on Sundays and I can't go in the theater anymore. Um, but I was, the, the Bible study that they have is located elsewhere. And I was able to go to that and I was able to get a ride, even though you had to wait for me because I didn't have my message and stuff or whatever notifications on. I didn't have something on my phone. So this dude had to wait for me for like 
however many minutes until he came up and got me. But um, another interesting thing is that like, so like if you think of like enemies or people that you're are your ad adversaries or something, um, this is th this is a great lesson to experience or a great this is a great lesson or whatever you want to call it for me to experience or a great thing for me to be put in contact with because the person who's doing the first Legend of IB thing is someone who like like I don't even like for one I well anyway but this is someone who's like an adversary like if there's if there were two like this is one of the ops so like but like they're the one participating in this Legend of IB thing. They're the only one, they're the they're the only person who's participated. And on top of that, their ish is on point. This is a great, like, this is good stuff. Um, but if anyone else participates in the Legend of IB thing, it is supposed to be that if you pick a superhero name and a superpower, the superpower is supposed to, oh, I guess I, I guess I said that. It's supposed to be something that you actually have. And since if it's appreciating something that you actually have and taking time to, if it ends up being a taking, if it ends up being an appreciating something about you thing that connects with the definition of dark roads that God changed to, or that, because I had a definition of dark roads that God changed in like my second Ramadan, I think. And that this would connect with that. I didn't do that intentionally. Like I may have, I may have done because this will be the Legend of ID level two with these asking me questions thing. Um, the first, when I did the first one in Heartfeltization with like two people, I don't even know if I'd had that second Ramadan yet. Maybe I had. Maybe I had. It's possible I had. But like this overlap with like God's definition of dark roads um, wasn't intentional, I would say. So... I'm going to go through like stuff that because I went, I think I went through everything and that's this is that long thread. Um, and then the post. So I'm going to go through the comments, the post from said Chavez, um, who. Again, chat like I would see if you can actually see this person in person or like see if they have an actual ID, because I still am going to push for that, because even they're changing names at some point during this from their full thing to MC Chavez or whatever. So, um, but one point that I was trying to get to earlier is that even though, um, so, I mean, this is from the, the person who does the first question or whatnot that I end up seeing at a time where I'm like feeling anxiousness and stuff and calms me is from someone who's like the enemy. And Rock Church, I'm still allowed at the Bible, uh, the Bible studies. And if it wasn't for it being in the theater, I would still be allowed to the church from the pastor. And this pastor, even though, interestingly enough, like in running into a service the first time some weeks ago, and even from something from last night during Bible study, there's overlaps of like my thinking or like what Jesusism might what elements of what Jesusism might be or elements of my way of thinking, which is something that's interesting. Um, so there, this is a different relation. I mean, this is kind of a different thing, but with Christians in general, oh my gosh. And you can probably relate to this if you're on a secular side of things or whatever, like Christians, even though they're hospitable, they're centered, um, like, I mean, point in case, like, even with all this going on, like, he talked to me about stuff, like, he was showing videos, he, like, like, he talked to me about stuff, but, like, he still, like, appreciates me, or, like, I'm still, someone even messaged him from church, like, and he even, and also, side thing, this, uh, me, I don't know, me being in this situation, or whatever, put me in contact with stories that he's, heard or like he was able to share stories with me that like are like are interesting that are and that'll be maybe in uh if depending on how things go start going community wise um because this could be a turning point or somewhere else could be a turning point in the future but um i don't know if you've heard me 
like that I've been saying God's going to do something because even yesterday I watched I ended up I ended up like accessing my Hulu account again and getting that going and the movie that I ended up watching was White Men Can't Jump this modern remake with uh, Jack Harlow and there's elements of that like what what amount of money did they end up getting or wanting to get five hundred thousand dollars like they got that amount and anyway five hundred thousand dollars is in that um the uh the both of the main characters end up getting kicked out of stuff well one of them ends up being kicked out of stuff because of social media stuff he ends up losing his job later in the video so i guess i'm spoiling but um and then the other dude gets kicked out of something because of I don't know if he would have got kicked out from the social media situation. He might, the other dude, the dude that Jack Harlow plays, he might have got kicked out because of like act, like things that he like did in person, like then and there, maybe. But, um, and then there's something, what other, I feel like there is something else. And then even, and then for the maybe second time yesterday on the computer, like looking down at the bottom of the screen, it says earnings upcoming. Um, but like, but with the movie though, I feel like there's something else like, oh, and then even, okay. And then in the beginning of the movie that the Jack Harlow character is like doing like YouTube stuff that like he had YouTube stuff or something that he was doing. So there are elements in that movie that I was seeing that like, I don't know if I'm missing any, but like. Or like that are that's that's something for me, you might say. Um but um but back to the like enemies thing. So like Christians, even though they're centered, because like even with all this, like I'm still able to go to Bible study, you know, I'm still I would have been able to still go a lot to, to still be a lot to the church. Um <coughs> if it wasn't in the theater. Um, so there's centeredness, there's strength there. There's because there's beliefs or there's dogma or whatever you want to say. Um, <clears throat> and one belief that rock church, anyway, they have a, they have one belief, if not more that that's kind of like a thing, but, um, and then even with my parents, my parents, like I have, <coughs> I have struggled with when I was younger and I, like, and I don't talk to them regularly and like, and it was with these same parents that a week ago in this, my 32nd year that like, they're having a conversation with me about this stuff. And they were like, it was a nice conversation. Like it was not about this type of stuff. And like, and it wasn't because I think in past years, there's almost like a, like, oh, just be nice. So Ivy doesn't get mad or some, some type of halfness or whatever you want to call it but this was, this was like genuine like so and even though just with how I work or whatever I can't be in I don't think I'll be able to be in consistent proximity I don't know or maybe I'd be able to handle it better being if I were in co consistent proximity with them and stuff but I might not be able to but um so from parents from that another uh acceptance point or something comes from Christianity because Christ Christians are so like annoying, hurtful, whatever you want to say, because they only see things a certain way. And like, it's just, it can be kind of, it can be demeaning. And when you have like repeated Christians talking to you over your life and they're just like, just trying to push this point or just see, have this ulterior motive or whatever, like that gets so like, and yet this is where, these are where some, not all of my graces or, or uh, whatever is coming from family, parents or family or whatever. So parents, um, Christianity, or at least this branch of Christianity, but even if Christians in general hold, maybe hold a certain solidarity and, you know, it's a general citizens or general, whoever that make up churches and stuff. So like, if I were to go to like a random church and like they knew about like either the situation or whatever they think they know about the situation, like they may feel like whatever about it, but then like 
they might su like they may end up going on to the Christian side of things. Maybe. Um, but like I said, there was even someone that apparently messaged the pastor and like had questions or something. I don't know all of what they said, but um so yeah, that's an interesting thing. And also I just watched all those Fast and Furious movies the last weeks, and what did they do in Fast and Furious movies? You end up joining up with the enemy towards a greater purpose or something. And we might end up doing that for the greater or we might end up doing that in relation to child like awareness of awareness is like and then it's almost like we're getting to like a social justice or like how whatever is the right way to say kind of thing like let's bring awareness but like to bring to elevate the conversation for the time being if not longer or something in relation to like ch children well-being or something you may think we're on opposite sides and in a way we are at least as far as like if you're trying to destroy my life or if you're like commenting stuff, I don't know. There's, there's a way that we are, but like we, there's at least in relation to children, we might be more overlapped than you think. If you actually are concerned about children or love children or like care and stuff like that. Um, and if I actually am in it, aren't just deluding myself. Um, what else? So yeah, I'm going to go through this thread I should have plenty of, I mean, it's only been 16, almost 17 minutes. Should have plenty of space. Um, let me share with you the new Jesusism page because it's it's kind of relevant, I guess. Or, I don't know. But I'm going to share this Jesusism page with you. Maybe I thought of sharing it for a different reason. I don't know, but it's relevant. There are thoughts. There are words. There are actions, there are commitments, there are results. There is legacy, nurturing something, an idea or a person that can exist, someone independent of you. You can nurture something that will survive your death. So that's the end of the page. But like, I mean, that's your children for one thing, but it's also other things. Um, So I jumped around some as I normally do, but I wonder if there's anything else that I, I talked about the enemies thing. Um, and then there's other stuff that I could get into, but I already said all that. So maybe I should save if there's anything else I wanna say for after this, even though some of y'all might be two timing this video or whatever anyway, because I actually caught that um, someone said that in uh, one of these comments and that person is someone I regularly refer to, but I'm just going to like not uh, say. So, yeah. I can't. OK, I kind of want to say at least something like. So I'm like in equal. I, and I, maybe I should so that I'm in like equilibrium when I go through this and I can be like on like, I don't know, like say what I need to say so I can be clear for this. But like I'm still fasting. I haven't eaten since still since the few hours into Monday morning. So this is this is Thursday, I believe. So that's I think that's three days like. um, And this morning I did like I reviewed the video because I had started reviewing some of the video um, last night, but then I want to do other stuff. So, um, so I reviewed the rest of the video this morning, which took a, took a bit. And then, um, and then I did a little insect fist, which was one fist style of the greater, the fist of the eternal Ramadan. And, um, certain stuff with that was on point. Like I didn't do it for long, but like that's maybe the only fist style that has like, I mean, kind of, as far as like actual technique, like that's the only fist style of this, the fist of the eternal Ramadan that I've, that I made that over, over, like during my not having a place period of that journey that I had since 2020. Um, and for however long the legitimacy of that lasted or came back to, cause I kind of lost stuff and then maybe came back into stuff as far as that journey. But, um, so I just did a little insect fist stuff and that stuff was on point. Like, 
So that's interesting. Like that, that, like there's like two kind of technique aspects to the insect fist kind of. And like, I, like, I just, I just went into them kind of like, but, um, but then carrying my suitcase to the library was that is it felt heavy and like I felt a little, little like dizzy, woozy or kind of thing. Um, but uh, yeah, now I've drank some water. So um, yeah, there's still stuff I might say, but now I think I might be good. So I'm gonna go clean my nose, even though you've already had twenty. You've already had twenty something minutes of me with something in my nose, but, okay, and I actually, I actually think I went into the bathroom and maybe even checked on no stuff before I started this video, but yet, but, uh, oh my, oh my gosh, there's, how, there's, there's still something, still, um, before I get into the th thread, also for equilibrium, but this is, this is, uh, something that the ops messaged me, which is helpful, like, but, um, so the Vargo invaders had a public statement, um, a former player that we are no longer associated with continues to mention us in YouTube videos along with a bogus GoFundMe, don't donate to it, uh, that he has created thinking it will help him save face. I think one of the, I think... I think the primary element of me like maybe believing or pushing or thinking of this become a pro team ambition that they had have is had slash have hopefully still is listening to the head coach Brandon Jones talk in the van or whatever. Maybe it was like in relation to the first pro game or something and like it, and it reminded, and I've said this before, but it kind of reminded me of like Justina Valentine, that girl from Wild and Out, the red, the the girl with red hair, like the the cute girl, the beautiful girl, like um, or hot or whatever you want to say, but um, it's kind of like how she was on a sway in the morning one time, and she just had this like faith that was like dope. Like she just before she actually delivered on the thing, and I don't know if Brandon has the ability to like actually deliver for sure, but like it reminded me like th this like solid area of faith before the thing actually happens. And like if someone actually like really pays attention to this video to these videos, and you might you might see that in me to some degree too. But it but kind of maybe, but um. But like before she even got into the actual freestyle, the actual, I think that would be considered Valley of the Hyenas, what she did. She just, she just was talking her talk or she had this faith or whatever. And then she actually delivered, but she had this energy or this whatever before that point even. So like, so that's, I mean, I think that's like him is, I think that's one of the first, I think that's the catalyst for like, I don't know. I, I mean, yeah, like that's, I mean. Maybe I also would care about it just off of like the Fargo invaders in general caring about it or whatever else, but like, um, <coughs> um, at first I chose to go the judicial system way of doing this because he has not been charged with anything according to the police, to the police. At first I chose to go the judicial system way of doing this because he has not been charged with anything according to the police. These are all allegations and we do not condone any of that behavior and want to warn everyone that lately his content seems like he is spiraling because I actually, so I've, I, the first time that any like just little words on this subject popped out was that I can remember is 2016, the Ban from Furco series. Um, it might've been like part 30, like Ban from Furco part 32, Roxas Focus or something like that, maybe at the very end or something. Um, that's when it just like popped out, something about just popped out a little bit. I don't know if it had at any point before then. Um, and that's in heartfeltization. So lay down and dream is what's been getting attention primarily or fully, at least primarily, but that only has 200 something videos. Heartfeltization has 3,500 or 600 something videos. And that's from since I came in the Fargo Moorhead area back in like 2011 when I transferred here for MSUM. 
um, like I think it was September 3rd, 2011. So I've been doing YouTube videos since I've been here. Um, this lay down and dream thing is actually pretty recent. It started like October or something, I think, but like the end of last year. Um, so actually, ironically, because I've, so, I mean, that's a hard topic because I got into a point of like higher reflection or like looking deeper into yourself and that like higher reflection stuff might've like got it to be a thing in 2020. Cause I had a series in heartfelization called 2020 insight where I would look at different, try to look at parts of myself every day kind of thing. And there'd be repetition on certain parts, probably child attraction stuff, because like that's because I just, I wouldn't feel like complete about it or like resolved about it or like didn't, didn't feel, I guess, equilibrium or done with it or something. So like, that's a hard, that's like a, that's a, I've referred to it as like a boss level topic. Like, I don't know if there's anything that like, I've tried to talk about that's like harder than that, but like, so I don't know if 2020, 2020 insight might be what started this like higher reflection that I got into because past 2020 insight, like I've, I got into like reflective videos of whatever, maybe how to get through life or trying to get through life. Like, I don't, but I just, I got into like higher reflection that may have started maybe with 2020 insight. So, but sit, so from, I don't know how often it's popped up, but it's popped up at different times that I'll like push again into the stuff. Like that's a hard, that was, that's a hard topic, but there's, there's videos. So, um, but so, but even though, like, even with pushing on it more and more, and hopefully I've, I got to certain things in those reflections and whatnot, with this situation, because me talking, I think it might be that me talking about it more, well, might be because like there was a TikTok about child attraction and that like, because people at the end of Road of Light level two, a hundred days between part 96, I think, to the end of, to maybe close to the end of that a hundred days or, or so that was a goal line stand situation. Because if we called the the hundredth day or finishing it, the goal line stand, then um, like for part 96 or whatever, for, be, for that to be when people just start getting on my comments and I mean, maybe it wasn't like a lot of people, but like, so like handful or however people have just of saying things and showing this side of this side of people that was, that's kind of disheartening or at least is like, and that's the, and that's, yeah, anyway, and that's part of what led to like that, a comment that I had in like that monster video or whatever in, in Road of Light level two of like, I might as well rape children. You might as well rape children because that it felt like that's how dark, like this is a side of people that I hadn't seen. Like that's how dark or how gone or whatever you want to say this world is. But then so hopefully... But that's kind of, that was kind of like the, even though there was something with that thought or some, even besides that, there was something with that thought at the time, which I like kind of said, I mean, I don't know how much I got into that, but there was something with that thought of saying like me rape children or, or something. There was something with that thought in that video. But, um, so, But, okay, so with all this situation, though, that all this talking about stuff in relation to children in, in this level three series or of recent, it's actually helped me at first, like, because there was a point where it was getting to the point of, like, a couple, one or two times of, like, I even want to, like, dislike, it was like I was seeing, like, dislike for children for myself almost happening because I was starting to be, like, scared to be around children, like, of my set, like, Like not like an actual like um, like just to feel uncomfortable or like not or like uncomfortable or like something around children, um, but it got but it got to the point that like I also was like, cause there there was like, a f like I don't know if you want to call that a fear of children or an awkwardness or something that was like there, but there was one or two times that there was like a dislike I like I was almost sensing a dislike of children that was I was like that I wasn't like, like that kind of bugged me. Um, but at this point, 
but we'll see if it, we'll see if it lasts. Because I have, I mean, I've theorized on stuff in these channels or whatever, and like it's one thing to have an idea, but can you actually bring that to to reality? But so far, besides the reputation I have now, it's like I'm in, like I'm good, like because you because it being brought out helped me process it in a way that I don't. Because I, as far as I, as far as self work, like I pretty much did like. I like I've tried like that's what I've got to but like it being out in reality or like I guess community or just what out of all this situation like helped me uh actually helped me eh, not I mean not that it was like an easy but like yeah it helped me get it helped me like like figure something and what I figured is in um is in the 35 minute video. That's like maybe, I don't know if that's five days ago or however long. There's like a 35 ish minute video. I think it might be called Gaps or something. Um, but I think it's in that video that you can like kind of get at the a philosophy or perspective, or whatever that I landed on. That is kind of what I'm going off of. Um, so technically, there's, I guess, there, there'd still be a risk of what is like, normally appropriate or culturally appropriate or whatnot, but I've found what works for me. And also like honesty, self-reporting wise, like it's not like I'm going to hide. I'm not really one to hide something if something does happen. Granted, even stuff that I've said in heartfelt station or elsewhere only got brought out into the light because someone put it out in the light at that level on a TikTok video and, and then people continue to do that or whatever. But, um, and then even that had to do with revenge for other stuff. Like children weren't, for, unless, unless this had been something already on her mind, because she's, wa apparently she's watched a lot of my YouTube videos. So unless she's run into that and that's something that she just didn't know what, like that was on her mind or something. But then even me saying that could be like something that is taken up as like, oh yeah, that's the reason why. But like, so hopefully that's not something that would falsely just be taken on as like, oh yeah, that's the reason why. Um, when it wasn't in the first case, if it wasn't in the first case. Um, but, so that's as far as like spiraling. Um, the, vi the, the Red Lobster video or whatever that's referred to, the instance in that video that it's talked about is from years ago. Um, so that's not like a, that, that's, that was in relation, that was sharing a feeling or a like potential, like, or like a plan of sorts from like years ago. If you not, I mean, but it was from years ago. Um, okay. So that, that's as far as the spiraling thing. Cause actually like. And even if I didn't do all this self work or self poking or whatever that, and then all this recent stuff, I still probably would have been like, it's, it, it's, if you, if you looked at, if people saw every aspect of you, um, like, how would you fare? And I've asked this before, like if people saw every aspect of you and like the things that you, because with me, I mean, y'all have turned certain things into things that I've done, but like, and I also have, am not good at like a black and white line, but like, y'all probably have more things that you've actually done. Maybe not in relation to children stuff. Um, but, uh, like whatever areas, but like, if you were to bring, if, you were like, and you wouldn't be able to get at everything because like, I probably haven't been able to get at, out of, get at everything. Like there's certain things that I've like locked onto and repeated or whatever. Um, but like, how well would you fare? And especially if like, it's like of a social justice energy, you know, like how they'd be moving and like, not a lot and like forcing, like, because there's people that like, like if someone has a has a different opinion on even this stuff, like there's there's one person who like was worried that I was going to end up like Kip G or something and like and like cared about me and gave advice and stuff, but said like he would have to delete me. And like and then there's someone else who shared um, 
who shared like or asked about this stuff and I like answered her or gave, I at least gave some answering and stuff and like and I've talked about her, her probably in that 35 minute video but like um but like she said she got like I mean, however she worded it, but she got like either attacked or hit hard or something. And someone else also apparently tried to stand up for me and also got like rammed hard. And then she felt stupid after seeing other more stuff about it and stuff. But like there is force and there is like agenda with this. And even like I said, the initial reasonings or whatever, unless this had been in their mind before. And then like the the upset with me was just like a catalyst to something that was already bugging them. But my concern with that, similar to like a concern I had with when I've thought about like with the YMCA, like because I I messaged that with the YMCA stuff from 2016, post employment, I think, and still in communication or in having started communication with the supervisor again, who anyway, there was a point that I think was after employment that I like that there was a point that I had messaged like something about guy feelings for children and like like if they got a hold of that they could say like oh that's the re because like I just with how certain things because I like I, I guess I wouldn't put that past them as at least as far as how they were or how someone was in the past or I don't know like I don't know if it's one person that I'd say it's with but like with how how the HR person or whatever was in the past like and maybe other people, I don't know, or maybe just the HR person, but like, I wouldn't put it past that, like them or that person, um, that them, if there's more than the HR person that it would relate to, but at least maybe the HR person, I don't know, but, um, so it, that lately his content seems like he is spiraling because he's now wondering to himself whether he is the monster that people think he is. And in his latest videos, he talks about wanting to try something with a little girl to see if he's the monster people think he is. And that's, that's like, that's what I was talking about, that that's not from, that's a memory shared or like a thing shared from like the past. And like, that's not in relation to like, if people think I'm a monster, but in relation to like wondering if I am or something, I think I would say, um, but uh, he's homeless and needs public places to charge his devices. So be careful if you do see him because he frequents parks because of plugins and to stop and nap. Um, I actually I don't frequent parks. You but you probably think but you probably would think that because of the Road of Light, Level Two, Season Two, Part Four, Faith and Fear or Fear and Faith, whatever that one's called. And then I think there might be another video or, or yeah, there's another video where I talk about being a park when I was at a park, like one Saturday or something, but I'm, I'm not often at parks, not to say that maybe in the future I won't be or like, cause, but, um, cause maybe who knows, maybe that could change from today. Okay. Um, so now it's almost at 40 minutes. And I haven't gotten to like the thread stuff. So hopefully I'm able to like go through all of this in one video. Um, and also the road of light is the idea, because I didn't actually get to this in the last video, is the idea of like, so I'm, I'm still not at the thread. I'm still like, but the stuff I'm saying is worth, I mean, is content. So, so I guess... I mean, I keep, this is almost like one of those videos where like they, they like say, Hey, we're going to do this. And then there's all this stuff that they keep doing until you get to the actual thing. It's almost like they're playing you, but like, as things come up or like towards my equilibrium before I get into this, like, I'm just kind of talking. So, um, and I could just like, I could, ju maybe I should just break, but like, I want to, so because I want to have equilibrium. So I'm not doing like what I said I would do of like, we're just going to do this and then we're going to get to this. I keep like prolonging because I keep like wanting to talk about stuff. But so this is unfortunately like one of those videos with where there's all this extra stuff when they said like, just they're just going to do this or whatever. But um, 
the root of light, which I didn't end up saying in the last video, is that like to put, to give yourself as data and heartfeltization. I mean, it's not like I was recording as often in my first years here, like intent or like often recording didn't start until like 2019, I think. That's when I did like a video every day, only a video every day. And then 2020, it was like at least a video a day. And then after that, it was, I think it was just kind of like what I wanted to do after that. But, um, but like, I've, I've done that. Like I've given, especially with stuff in recent years, maybe, but like, if you're thinking there's just laid out in dream, the 200 something videos, no, nah, there's like another 3,500 plus or something. Um, so you can get to see into who I am. Um, um, okay. Let's get into this after I clean my nose, unless something else pops up that I feel like I need to go over for equilibrium or something. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. It's okay. It's showing on my face anyway. Um, so these will just be snippets. If you know the thread I'm talking about, I don't know if there's more than one thread, but this thread is huge. This is probably the thread. Um, as far as like the post, I already went over that in... I think the Red Lobster video, and then I don't know what I would have titled the video from like two days before that, but then I, so I got into some, so red in the Red Lobster video, like I get into stuff as far as like what's said in that, like the actual post, and then two videos before that I had started talking about stuff and got into things to a certain degree eventually. In that two videos before video, it's, it's kind of like this in a way in that like I didn't end up getting to it right away or I don't get to it right away. Okay, so these are snippets, like just kind of jumping into conversation points. Um, so like for this first one, for example, you're not hearing what was said prior. But someone that I've like mentioned before said, he knows what he's doing. He's had a lot of practice deceiving people. Even that, like if, I mean, geez. Deceiving people? But maybe there's more ways of deceiving people. Maybe there's even little ways of deceiving. But generally, I mean, if you know me or if you've been paying attention in even this stuff recently with how I talk and stuff. Um, he even made a post about a female, quote unquote, leaving her backpack with her wallet and money and ellipses. I'm sorry, but no. Yes. Yes. So even that right there, like, and she, and I'd seen that she'd said that before, but, um, he probably stole it, then tried to look like, stole. I stole when I was little, like at the stores and like candy or whatever. Um, then tried to look like the good guy per usual. I used to trust this person a lot. We, me and this person have gotten into it once before. Cause I almost, I think I almost wanted to say like, have I ever like done something in the times that you trust me a lot, but we got into it on something on Facebook once that was, she is a lot. I, at least in that time that she was a lot. And it made me even think about, it made me think about bonds and stuff or reflect on bonds. Um, he doesn't have developmental issues. Please do believe. Um, and then I think this is her com continuing that right after he's good at manipulating others, a huge trait many of his football buddies have a huge trait many of his football buddies have whom seem very okay with his behavior who would seem like that's who who would be okay with like el like elements of things talked like who is okay with this behavior so to speak like maybe they can see more big picture like there's people that can see more big picture or something and not to say, or there's, or maybe people that can see more clearly in their scene, big picture or something. I don't know, but who like, is just like, oh, 
that okay whatever like i mean i guess there are people like that there are times that like people just kind of like don't dance with something or like new information because like it's hard to like digest but there's also people that can like see big picture or see clear so um but that's but I don't, to me i feel like that's kind of the talk of like where you're like almost like what is that goading someone of like it's like it is it's kind of like a manipulative maybe social justice kind of thing where it's like and kind of like later on in this where someone's like i see that this stuff was only shared that it's been that this post is and it was it was chavez this is a later thing with chavez is like i see that this post has been seen three thousand times but it's only been shared a thousand times and then like talking about how that people are like pedo apologists or something we'll get to it unless this runs out but like there's manipulation there's forcing there's but like people kind of pick what details they look at like woman three in her personality or her in herself is like kind of a manipulative person i think i would i think i would say like and people that would know her like there's someone who the 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 thing that i talked about however many videos ago where someone like reached out and it was from an unexpected direction and they like um like then they like they st what they said touched me and stuff like they're like if i'm not mistaken they were scared of like her knowing who it was or something if i'm not mistaken um and even in my own like initial experience and even part of what like attracted me about her is like her dominance even though her dominance is like in our whatever was like kind of like a jokey thing but in my early experience with her, with her, there there's like one or two things that like are kind of are like controlling or are kind of like like here's all this information about someone, but like don't tell them who it was from or like or whatever she said, whether it's don't tell who it was, it was from or don't from, I don't know. There's something of not to do, like don't tell who it was from or don't. But then anyway to me there's one or two things in my early whatever with her that are like if i think about her kind of like manipulative or controlling and part of it is her fighting or finding her own equilibrium or something i would think and so that's good if that's what's happening but um okay so that's just the first one there's a and oh no that's okay two things okay and then someone else i think Okay, so the first two things I said, that was with one person talking to one person. Now we're going to move from that to another person. I think he smokes meth. I don't. The only I've only had a puff of weed. As far as drugs and type of stuff, I've had alcohol. I've never been drunk. Um, so unless, I mean, unless I've accidentally at some point, but like, I think he smokes meth and then just says whatever his fucked up meth brain thinks. Bro doesn't need mental help at this point. He needs to be locked away. Um... Okay, and then this is jumping to another thing. Um, he posted that video. His name is right below it. He also has a LinkedIn. I haven't I haven't done stuff with LinkedIn for a while, like a, not even a while, a long time. Like I technically at some point in my life made a LinkedIn. That is not something that's like active. It's been a while. <laughs> like I don't know if I've like peaked at that in recent years, maybe because I feel like there's some time that I like maybe looked at it or did something, but like, that's not something that that's, I made that a while ago. That's not an active thing. But so apparently in my LinkedIn, it says that I mentor kids and work with an autistic child, which I did work with an autistic child in 2000 years ago, 2004, 14 as an AmeriCorps member. Um, And that's the kid that was among the kids that there's that shower experience thing with that y'all went off on, which to me, like, I'm the one sharing the experiences. I'm the one who was there. Like, <clears throat> granted, I was the only adult there. Um, but like, <coughs> but that's something that y'all made it made into a thing. The thing that I think is worth bringing forth, I brought forth a few times um, in in recent videos um but the problem with giving you guys anything even though i keep giving you guys things is that like y'all like turn fire into which is why even if i wanted to say something like hey check with your kids and ask your kids like just like as far as like uh 
community thing or whatever. Just the idea of like, ask your kids if they're like, I wouldn't even, I don't even know if I could trust you with that because y'all just like blow up stuff or y'all just like how you treated stuff that I've said. Like, I, I can't like, I can't trust you with that. At least certain types of people with like, with that. Um, and then, um, and worked with an autistic child, dot, dot, I'm disgusted. Um, and then jumping to another thing, I've reported him to police several times. Yeah, this, I think this is another, yeah. Jumping, so jumping to another thing, I've reported him to police several times and they have only had conversations with him and let him on his way. He frequents Elephant Park. Um, I'm not, oh, and this, okay. I'm not sure where Elephant Park is, I like, where is Elephant Park? I could have been there with that. I mean, but from what's said later on, this shouldn't be me, but like maybe I've been at Elephant Park before, but he frequents Elephant Park used, and then in parentheses, used to about a year ago anyways, in parentheses, oh, in North Fargo on 19th Avenue. I've been in North Fargo before. I used to, I used to live in North Fargo some years ago. Uh, I used to live in North Fargo close to the Fargo Dome for a couple months or a few months or something. So I don't, I don't know. Um, especially during tennis season, supposedly because tennis is his favorite sport. Tennis isn't my favorite sport. I used to live on 19th Avenue across from that park and I'd seen him there on a daily basis with his white van. I don't, like I've, I've driven in Fargo before, but you, but didn't she say on a, did she say on a regular? Yeah. She said on a daily basis with a white van, like, so between the tennis comment and the daily basis with a white van, because I've, I've had access to vehicles that I've driven in Fargo in the, in the decade plus that I've been here, but like, so I don't know if I, so in my drivings, I don't know if I would have been at a, this probably isn't me. Like, this probably isn't me because daily basis with his white van, like there is. OK, so there is one time in recent years that I had access to a car while I was pet sitting or whatnot. I don't remember what color it was, but like I shouldn't have been daily outside. Um, Yeah, between the tennis thing and the white van and like what? And so so then there I, I would think in this scenario, maybe there are kids playing tennis. I don't know if I've seen kids play tennis because if, if tennis is involved in this, as far as tennis is his favorite sport, I think we could say that the kids would probably be playing tennis. Maybe not. Maybe that's not what we should break it down to, but I don't think that's me. Um, next one. Um, comment from the same person, actually, but to someone else. Um, so maybe... So this... <laughs> This might not be like, there might be stuff between what I just said in the long thread and what I'm about to say now, but the person talking is the same one from that tennis, uh, whatnot thing. Um, I guess so. So this, but this might, I mean, there might be something between this and then what I was just talking about. So the, I guess so, and whatever else might be in response, probably is in response to someone else because it's talking to someone else. So potentially, um, I guess so. I agree. It is so hard to have to just sit back and watch it all unfold. Yes, as far not, I mean, not, not that, but that concept, like, I'm not saying like, yes, you should be scared, like, but if there's a situation that's alarming people and concerning people, and, and there is an actual potential threat and all they can do is wait and unfold. Yes, because the person, I don't know if this is when I had planned to mention this, but the person who killed Jupiter Paulson, who is who I wear this for, that dude was in and out of jail, apparently. Like, even someone from one of the bars, like, felt bad because he, like, knew the guy, I think, if I understand correctly. Um, like, there's a guy at one of the bars that I that maybe even still works at, like, for, um, at, uh, at one of these bars downtown. Um, Fort Knox, um, that like felt bad. 
I, I, I think I heard or like apparent if I'm right from wherever I got this from, like he felt bad because he knew that like he maybe seen that person or I don't know something, something with that person. But like, yes, to the concept of like as a community, if there's some because how y'all feel, even though there's. Like you guys are being like led into stuff or pushed to stuff from in something that started with like revenge unconnected to children, unless they already have that in their mind. And then them having an issue with me was a catalyst. But me even saying that maybe they would just don and say, oh, yeah, that's why or whatever, or start or take that on when that wasn't really the case. So essentially this started like in relation to other stuff. But maybe it's gotten the hands of other people who like are blowing it up and and maybe more so either care about children or at least are or at least doing something with it for whatever reason. Um, I mean, it depends what's actually in their heart versus. Yeah, I guess it depends what's actually in their heart. Um, but if they shared that, granted, I mean, even if they shared that, it's not like it's going to become all of this. Um it's not like it would become all this situation for them. Um, at least I don't think. Because this is a, this is like the worst topic or like the most, one of the most concerning topics. So it might be a good place that we're here. But yes, to that idea, like maybe there should be a law. In, not that someone <laughs> ends up being like put out of commission, but if there's a huge community concern and there's this idea of like waiting for something to unfold, like, that's not an ideal thing because, like, if you can see, like, there's a 16-year-old boy that was shot apparently, like, yesterday or two days ago or something or whatever. Like, if you can see that something's headed a certain way, maybe there's some type of, like, I mean, but I don't know how you turn that into law. Like, something that can be set in place so that, like, that and that's fair. So, like, that that situation can be that but that isn't gonna just like be an opportunity for someone's like even though like the law can or situations can screw over the law people and their antics or whatever can screw up some people's lives which is one of the things that i ended up hearing from the pastor and stuff um in relation to child stuff um and not about like just sharing a story that um of like one or two yeah one or two th stories that he that he like was aware of or hurt like anyway there's there's stuff that he that he that he uh that he that he shared that like people there's people in that I don't know how often it is but like I mean there's I mean Yeah, but so the law can like screw people over or people's words, or whatever can screw people over. But like in my case, it's helping me because like despite whatever energy, or whatever y'all are pushing, the law is standing strong where I mean, it, it's it'd be hard to be a person trying to say something good about me in a threat or something because like, you know, it's kind of how it's kind of like how you're scared to say like stuff around LGBT stuff in relation to LGBTQ stuff or if someone's black, there's these social justice parameters. And that's where like heart energy, one of the like one of the, like four or five things in my on my post from Monday night, as far as like the like projects or aspects of this two months or whatever, like there's ways we can set up better dialogues with each other or ways of communicating or something that isn't just like offensiveness and whatever else though if if someone's legitimately offended or something like that that could go into it but like just not the way that social justice does it in a way where we can like have more fruitful dialogues with each other so you're not just scared about upsetting me because i'm black or there's that but actually i don't know or like less of just fear of like offensive offending someone and like oh you're done just but and more like fruitful learnings or like dancing with each other or something. So heart energy.
like dialogue type stuff. And maybe it's hard energy of dialogue, but also maybe it's hard energy as a thing. Like, what, or what if we could transform social justice energy into like, because social energy stuff gets stuff done. What if we could transform it in Fargo to like hard energy that like gets stuff done, but is like not like malicious or manipulative or forceful or just is good. Like turn a dark heart into a light heart or something. Um, okay. So yes, in like, is are there any other situations in the past of Fargo where people just had to like sit around and watch, and then and then something actually ended up happening? Um, out of like as a question, or I, I mean, just gonna put that out there as like as like as an, as an actual question. Um, okay, and then this is. This is someone responding probably right after to what I just said with the, I guess so I agree it is so hard to have it to have to just sit back and watch it all unfold. Oh, we will all be watching now. OK, so I gave you that information. So now you have the choice. That's good. Because if I had I mean, it's not the level y'all took things to and like just watch like. But like, you can make an informed decision. Like I've said, like in reality, I've gone so far as to say, like in reality, I might be one of the safest people to have around your kids because I love kids. And like, and also another thing is that like, even though I've like opened up thoughts and stuff to you, you being able to have an accurate read on the reality of, of things is based, and I've said this before, is based on like how well I talk about it and how well you like are seeking truth or I don't know, you maybe like we could say like seeking truth, wanting to listen or wanting to actually get to the truth. The ops or people on the other side, like they like want to dislike, like I said, this started in connection to revenge. Even if child or even if child attraction was some type of concern, which that's me being considerate or whatever, which I mean, it's things are possible, but this starts with revenge. Like I got a text of like that part of which was like, hope you like that fire as it burns your life down. Something like that. There is backstory to this that you don't know. You, there are TikToks that you just see or whatever you're seeing. And actually with the post and all the thread under it, like all the people jumping in and like the post and the actual video of me saying stuff like, shoot, I would, be I think I would believe too. Um, but like, this is, this is people taking the worst or the hardest reflection topic in a journey of whatever this journey, the journey of like reflection or whatever via YouTube has been and like exploiting it towards like initially revenge, unless they actually had, I mean, what's on people's hearts? What is their actual motivation or just partial motivations or whatever, but this journey starts part like in more recent chapters, it starts with revenge. Um, and then there's even backstory to even before that point. But um, but I've talked, I've said the and some of y'all probably are you might just be seeing three minute, two minute TikToks of people that are like only finding <laughs> the ba like bad stuff, and then like that's all they're talking about. So for you to get an accurate read on the level of concern I'm or not like I've lived in me more than you have the memories that you're judging that some of them, at least one of the memories that you're judging that is got blown. That was a thing for at least one person, if not more, I'm the one who shared that memory with you. You weren't even there. So it is based on how well I communicated and how I communicate is like an, an excessive concern with honesty or accuracy, which I think I've just gotten to the point of like in, Oh goodness. It's we're at one hour already. And I'm not even done with, there's like, there's like five or six. Oh my gosh. Um, unless I want to do a thing of only doing a page at a time, we could maybe do that. Cause I, I mean, dang, I, goodness gracious. Um, maybe I'll see if I can start speeding through this, but that hasn't worked for me in the past <laughs> in life. But, uh, <coughs> 
um, oh, we, oh, we will all be watching now. I know that if I'm out and about with my kids and I see him, I'm packing them up and leaving. Um, and then in parentheses, and I will tell whoever else is there with their kids. Who gave you the data to be able to make that informed decision? That then the ops, because my stuff already existed. I put it out there. So, so they are also a part. So I guess if I'm to say it that way, I guess you could also think them because they're the ones that like blasted it. So, but, um, um, he is really tall. I wouldn't confront him, but I'm taking my children away for sure. Um, the next person. Oh, okay. The next person is someone that I reached a, we had a, she gave me a ride from the library to the theaters for one of my fast and furious weekends. This is someone that we like had just reached a new level of bond with. Um, we had like, we had a good talk. Like she was where I was able to get, while I was able to get to fast and furious instead of having to like walk from downtown with someone that like, I like we've known each other in the past. Like she's even giving me a backpack. Like we've had like on and off, our awarenesses of each other start from like years ago or, or something. And like, and that's a thing. Like it's, it, it would seem that it's so easy for bon even all the seeds, all that is off of maybe how God made me, I guess we should probably say, but like all the seeds of things that has ended up sown in you off of how I am, which might be off of how God wanted me to be of how like these positive memories, whatever has been sown in 10 something years that is apparently can just be like switched. And so if that can happen for me, that can happen for other people. Kip G did something where he, where it seems he actually did that, but did he need to die? And whoever else can this, I mean, <laughs> celebrities must be miserable because of, they have to put on this face for one thing. And then on top of that, y'all can just destroy careers that like they worked to build. Like, I mean, depending on what it is, maybe there should be a thing of like, not nah, take this person down. Like we could maybe like find a middle ground because there are certain things. But like if people work to get to a certain level, not everyone can do that. Y'all want to take them down for some whack things sometimes. It's not every time that y'all point to something that's like a legit, like R. Kelly not that I'm saying hate R. Kelly or something, but I've watched Surviving R. Kelly like at least season one or something. And that is just intense unless that's made up from like a group of people that are just so on point. But that is seems like it's real and like that's intense. So, I mean, so there could maybe be a middle ground, but I don't know if we need to be like tearing people like. And I mean, celebrities probably aren't as happy as they seem. Um <laughs> Shoot, one of them just needs to like break out and just in a way that people vibe with though. <clears throat> or maybe in a way that just makes them happy even and then take the consequences if they want or if they choose such a path. Anyway, um, okay, so this is a message from this person that like I like that I was talking about, like we've had awareness of each other for years. Um, we just had like a, like a, like a good talk on the way, like this is someone that we, should have reached like a higher bond level recently saying to the person who saying to the person from the last message, though, I don't know if this is, if I don't know if there'd be anything in between, but um, saying in response, say, saying to the, to the same individual who said the, Oh, we will all be watching now or whatnot. She's saying what I'm about to read to that same person. And it's probably in order. Otherwise there could be something in between these two things. When did he get a van? Someone put out that I had a van. And it's believed. People believe things really easily we'll see in this thread, I think, potentially. So hopefully start checking things, potentially. Because seeds that have been sown of like bond or whatever, they're getting destroyed. And if y'all could see things accurately, But also, let's bring this into a child well-being conversation. Let's raise that conversation up. Um, so when did he get a van? I've always known him to be without a vehicle. 
for the most part, I bus and walk and sometimes get ri get rides. Um, but there are times where I've had access to vehicles, even doing day labor some weeks back, went out of town with someone and they let me drive their vehicle to go to the gas station or something, which is a really short thing, but that's just an example kind of. Um, when did he get a van? I've always known him to be without a vehicle. D multiple dots. Um, it's wild how people can be so deceiving. So it seems she's on board. Um, okay. I kind of, it might be a good idea to just do this a page at a time because then we can like stay in this conversation and it can be sold stronger. Um, but I think what I'd said in this video of where I keep like, I kept prolonging stuff and then I, but if we're already at like an hour and 10, it might be good to take it a page at a time so we can really get into this. Um, Cause then it makes it, it makes it like stronger. The only problem is that like I have, indicated or said that like I'm going to like get into everything and I haven't done that but we're already at an hour and 11 minutes I talked about other stuff I didn't start talking about stuff until like 40 minutes in but um so that might be the nature for the next because there's two, three four five six seven eight oh no no seven I think like seven no Oh, maybe six? Because some of these are like other things. So I also got a message from someone this morning asking like if I wanted to talk. Um, uh, also, there's so there's the one woman that I talked about in the past that like that one Sunday or something that like had stuff that like touched me. Um, but um, there is a there is a guy from the football team some weeks some weeks ago that mess that said like that he could feel he could feel good vibes or bad or he could he could, he feels like he can read people well and that <coughs> um, that he would feel comfortable with it like leaving his kid around me and that hit me and that's the type of stuff that makes me want to go to war for you like i'm wearing like i'm wearing this and like there's a certain like feel or something that comes with that and like the level i don't know if it was him specifically that i was thinking of or maybe like another thing because there's because there's also um i i can't continue what i'm i'm not going to continue what i'm going to say because then it'll help narrow on into that other person um but there's some things that people, there aren't a lot of people. And that's another thing with everything. Yo, all the experiences that I've had with you, Fargo, like and someone else wouldn't be this strong. Like there's aspects of self that I, or there's aspects of in life that I'm weak in. There's aspects that I'm strong in. Um, someone else. I mean, this is a lot of pressure for an individual to carry. And like, even though some, there's been some reaching out and not, I mean, not that I per se want reaching out. I mean, I mean, don't act off of this because like the less, I mean, <laughs> but um, like after every, like 10 years, like, so social justice can ruin a legacy that doesn't necessarily deserve to die in general, just with people. And let's think beyond Fargo and into the country and into the world because they're connected. Um, so because I didn't get to all of this, because I I, I've seen the in with my, I don't I mean let's let's not do that let's take this a page at a time for these next days or something I tried to call one of the day labor places and the phone wasn't answered I've never seen that happen before so I think y'all probably got one of the day labor places the other day labor place if they accept me that's going to be interesting because I'm going to have commentary on that if that is the case because that's interesting and then there's stuff that I will comment on in relation to the into something that's interesting about that um, um, oh, the other, okay. There's something else. So when I talked about the red lobster thing, th the video, which I thought was a dope video, you only saw maybe three minutes of, of it and thought it was in relation to current or whatever you saw, but that video as a whole, which addresses stuff in the post. So, I mean, 
So there's that aspect too. But um, but as far as like that's like plan within myself or whatever of like next time I see that child, like let me see if I am a monster type of thing. Um, even though that's from the past, there is a we like the day the day that I um went to the Fargo Invaders first first pre or like rehearsal practice or whatever before the game um for for nine men or whatever <laughs> on the bus um there is another there is a there is a <coughs> or yeah on the bus there is a there is another of these like like let's just see if I'm a monster type of thing which is it I mean because you you and either your imagination or even what those words themselves independent of maybe independent of me offer like the fear or whatever, like you have to understand how I relate to these words, like words that have extremities, not all, maybe not all of them, but like rape, kill, how my mind works. There is, there can be something with that, which doesn't equal a full reality thing. Like I'm a pretty like disciplined person in re like, and then even on top of that, it's not that like there's just like over what, but there is a curiosity area. And I talked about that in that 35 minute video, like that's where I've landed on. And like, but now there is this like outside pressure of like, of how y'all feel that is there. So now there's that. But as far as myself and my journey, I think I've landed on equal, on an equilibrium potentially if I can, like I've, and even... But anyway, this is self-work that maybe didn't have to happen. Like, this is me digging into stuff and and then, like, but even if I wouldn't have, like, might have been fine. But on that bus, though, there, and this is, so this would have been however, I mean, maybe some weeks ago or something, but there was the, the thing of, like, <clears throat> um, like, let's just see if I'm a monster type of thing. And then, like, as far as, like, like thoughts or maybe towards at like feelings towards actions but in some capacity there's like let's just see if I'm a monster and then in, in my head there is this like kind of like aggressive thought of like stuff of like stuff and this this is this is for the tiktoks this is for you because you want this ah I almost left you with the video with nothing to, to pop off with but um there's like a thought of like like there, there is, there is like a thought of like jamming my, like my penis into like a kid's mouth, something like that. Um, and maybe there are other thoughts I have with that too, but that, that was like, yeah, I think there, but that was one thing that I can like remember or lock into as far as that bus thing. But then, so like end up getting off the bus by like more head high or whatnot. I was told to like be around until to not come until like. I don't know if it would have been 6.30 or something, but like, like everyone had met at like six, maybe, maybe that's when everyone else was meeting, but then 6.30, it was like 30 minutes or something later. But, um, so I just like walked to another bus stop, uh, while I was waiting. And then like, there was a kid that like walked by maybe with his parents, probably with the parents. And like, either I waved to the kid or the kid waved to me. And then, like, either I look to the kid or the kid looked back to me, like, again or something. And because of that thought, like, I I felt, I didn't, I felt, um, uncomfortable or something. Like, with myself, maybe. Like, having that kind of thought and then, like, the interactions with that kid, like, me, it, I felt maybe uncomfortable or something. But... Um, so yeah, I had said I was going to get into all this stuff, but even, even if I wouldn't have talked to, about some of this latter stuff, um, I don't like, I don't think I'll get like, if that's just one page and also we may want to flesh this stuff out. Like, like I said, like if I'm doing one of these a day or something and like, like that, that keeps this conversation around longer. Like it's almost like a like seasons of a show that they just like drag on and stuff, but I didn't intend like, but I'm not like, I'm not going to get through one, two, um, three, four, five, 
six, yeah, no, seven, eight. I'm not going to get through that in. I wonder if I even would have gotten through all of it if that's all I would have talked about. Maybe if I would have just started that from the jump and would have just like, and also like kept myself like to like kind of like controlled myself or whatever, maybe, but um, you have a good day. There's a superpower in you and there's also a weakness in you, but, and also even if things are tough, you never know when a light might jump into your life like your daily bread or like something because like I got that message from that woman this oh I didn't finish that there's a message from a woman this morning that was like do you need someone to talk to I don't know if I said that already but like that touched me or like um getting a message from or seeing the post from Chavez calmed me in my anxiousness yesterday like so it'll it could come from unexpected places so hang in there whether you're seeing this in a present time or whether it's whatever part in life that you're in, like our estimations of ourself and of others isn't always on point. You're capable of more than you think you are. And you also can't do as much as you think you can and need to be accurate about that too. Like there's two sides to things, I guess, but kind of like how like you might have a plan of like this, this, and this to do in a day, but like, or like if it was past me, I wonder, I'm not sure, but past me maybe would have tried to do that. Like, but I'm probably not going to get all this done in such a short amount of time. Like, so realistically see yourself and your potential and, and, and this, and when you have multiple people together, like this community is potential. Like if we do something off of this, like share this, Sh like I'm not normally one to say share this, but I've been thinking of like, you know, when I saw that thread yesterday, I almost wanted to start saying like, okay, we need to start like something like we need to start hard energy now or like, um, and like, so that like towards like the betterment of my name kind of thing, like as far as like what people were saying and whatnot. But so it was almost like a thing of like wanting to ask or was thinking of asking like towards like to share mate or or no, or maybe it was I was going to have people start like, okay, now I've gone over this stuff. So now ask stuff at Zoroaster and you, um, which you're good. Like I have all these things to ask. I have Chavez's thing to answer, which is a good thing, a good like good stuff that he said. I like have said that if you ask stuff on Zoroaster, no, not Zoroaster and you, the legend of IB. I have said that if you ask stuff on there that I'll answer them. So I have to like... I have to do that. Like, I'm supposed to take it chill on the road of light, which this is not taking it chill. But we also are getting to a lot more, um, not necessarily questions, statements or whatever on here than like one person at a time. But if you ask stuff on there, like I, I'm kind of bound to that. Like, may, it may not be the day. I may even try to do it the day of. Um, but so I'll be I'll be doing I'll be responding to his question today. Again, if you do that. A, a super uh, a superhero name, but also a superpower that's like something you have. So like it can be like self it can end up being self appreciation of like something you're good at. Um, and then Zoroaster and you, if if you actually like listen to this stuff or listen to some of the past videos or something. Or even if you see stuff in heartfeltization or lay down dream altogether that you feel like is worth sharing, like it's a good concept or something, maybe share. Because even if you can't be, if you're not strong enough to be the person that initiates something, you can, you can like forward someone's stuff. Like on my Facebook, I'd be sharing people's stuff that touches me or that I think is worth sharing. Um, so...